church on the way. Church on the way. Praise God. Hallelujah. Based on some of the feedback that I received yes, uh, this past week, and for the good of our church, and for the good of the days ahead, I wanted to share a few messages about the church, and what God intends of the church, and for each of us. Church on the way. Church is always moving in some way, in some direction. No church is ever stagnant. Either they're progressing or they're regressing. And we as a church, we want to be always progressing, not just as the body of Christ in Lakeland, but as the body of Christ all over the world, part of a moving church, a mighty force in this world. You and I are part of an army that is in this end times. God is doing something in this world and it's through the church. The power circles are not in Washington, Moscow, Jerusalem, Europe, Belgium. And the power is in the church. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Do you believe that? You know, the church is where God is doing His work today. Church is each one of us. Growing up in the beach side here in Florida, we have a lot of beaches around here in Central Florida, on the East Coast, West Coast. We have, we're surrounded by beautiful beaches. People travel from all over the world to come to Florida to, to enjoy our beaches. But we don't get time to enjoy the beaches. People pay thousands of dollars to come to Tampa and Orlando and and Fort as West Palm Beach and all these for these beautiful beaches and we're sitting at home and we're just going locally here and there. Enjoy some of the beaches in this area. On these beaches, if you go, you see somebody building a sand castle, usually either kids or some adults. Some of them are simple sand castles, some are elaborate sand castles. Well, the story of this kid that was building this elaborate city on the beach. And he built it as a sand castle with roads and buildings and all kinds of very intricate, like a small city. But these bullies came by on the beach and these teenagers, they just laughed at him and they started kicking in and destroyed that sand castle. Well, finally he got tired of that and he said, hey, this kept happening every time he went to the beach. Finally he got tired of it and says, I'm going to outsmart these guys. And so he did something. He took some cinder blocks and cement blocks and some broken rocks and put it underneath underneath the sand and he built 
and on the, built the sand castle on top of that. And then he built that elaborate sand castle and when these bullies came by they were in for a surprise. When they kicked that sand castle to get that destroyed, they hit that cinder block and they said, Oh! Many people are doing this to the church of Jesus Christ. Liberal theology, secularism, politics, heresies, all kinds of things are being kicked at against the church. A lot of bullies are in this world against the church. But they forget that the church is built on the rock, on the solid rock. The foundation is on Jesus Christ. It cannot be destroyed. I will build my church. And the gates of hell, the powers of hell, will not conquer. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. That deserves a round of applause and shout and everything. I will build my church. I will build my church. I will do it. We will do it. No matter what the world comes against us, whatever theologies and doctrinal differences come, God is building His church. Praise God. Church requires then the unity. I will protect the unity of my church. Unity is important to a church. Unity requires acting in love towards other members. Romans 14.19 Romans 14.19 Let us aim for harmony in the church and try to build each other up. Romans 14.19 Building up the church in harmony, building each other up. And in 1 Peter 1.22, we were cleansed from this. Love each other deeply with all your heart is that between members, between brothers, between sisters, young people, each of us. Loving each other gives us unity. Then refusing to gossip, Ephesians 429. Hallelujah. 
This is the church on the way. It's a progressive step. Each of us have to do it. We have to choose to refuse to gossip. We have to choose to love each other. It's a church on the way. It's going forward. Hallelujah. And then 13, Hebrews 13, 17, following the leadership. Spiritual leaders of the church. We're watching over the souls, watching the people, watching and giving account to God for each of the people here in this church. When the leaders pray for the church people, church folks, church members, and we pray for each other, we're holding each other accountable before God and asking God for the lives of the souls that are here. That's the unity of the church. Each of us should take that decision. I am going to protect the unity of my church. Will you do that in these days? Will you do that? Will you take those action steps? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The church then has a survivability. Its church will survive. It will survive all of the critics that come against it. Every critic that's ever come against the church has been put down. The church continues to survive. Voltaire tried to do it back in the day, but God's church still continues. German theologians, liberal theologians tried to knock it down, but the church continues to survive. Hallelujah. All kinds of doctrinal errors have come into the church, but the church is surviving going forward. Hallelujah. problem we have today with the church is that culture is overtaking the church. The church is becoming irrelevant if we don't watch it, if we don't change our ways. The church will soon become irrelevant in this decade, in this generation. There are critics outside and there are critics inside. As I've said before, the church is pictured like Noah's Ark. If it wasn't for the storm outside, we couldn't stand the smell inside. Some of the things I witnessed in this trip to India makes me wonder, well, is the church going to survive? That was a scene that I saw in South India. But when I went to North India, I saw a different scene. I saw a thriving church. I saw a church that not only will survive, but it's growing. It's wonderful to see. Hallelujah. 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 H
stress will be gone. Every sickness will be in memory. Your bride will come together. Hallelujah. We can come together in unity here. We'll continue in unity all the way through eternity. Stand with me together this morning. The Church of Jesus Christ in Lakeland, Florida will survive and thrive and arrive one day. I want to ask you a question that's the most important question if the trumpet sound is now, right now, will all of us be gone? No empty seats here. There be no empty seats here. No empty seats on the stage. Nobody's standing on the stage. How many of you can say that for sure? Oh, yeah. 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 Fellowship is nice here. Fellowship and food is great here. And we can enjoy wonderful times here. But ultimately, everyone should be together in heaven one day. Dear friend, will you be there in heaven that day? If you're watching me this morning, wherever you are, are you going to be there? I will never may see you on the video screen, but I want to see you in heaven. If you're watching this in other countries, I want to see you in heaven and hug you and encourage you in heaven that day. Will you come to the Lord and say, Lord, I simply come to you in faith. I repent of my sins, I confess my sins. I give you my heart. I give you my life. I give you everything that I have. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for me. And I know you're coming back for me. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.